is playing villains really more fun? I, mean, I love playing a villain, and actually, uh, uh, in the months leading up to getting this job, it was something that I had articulated, like, I'd like to play a villain, you know, to myself and to the people that I work with. Um, so, so I'm really excited about that. It's really fun for me. But I'm, I'm much more interested in, in the dynamic of a character and not necessarily in the, uh, in the position that he takes. And, you know, if, if it's a good character that's equally uh, um, layered, then I'm, I'm excited to play that as well. Captain's Log, star date 1513.1. One big new party snagged is the young Spock in the upcoming Star Trek movie, a part he went after. I had been angling for it for a while. I consider, I consider that I mounted a campaign for that role, actually. Um, I talked about it a lot in interviews because I knew that they were doing the project, and, uh, and it was something that I was really eager to get involved with, I mean, I, I never really imagined that it would come to fruition as as, uh, as quickly as it did or as smoothly as it did. This Landing the role expands the hero's Star Trek connection. Isn't that bizarre? Now Nichelle Nichols is joining the show this year and George Takei, of course, from last season, so it's sort of like a little bit of symbiotic uh, back and forth. It's a little exchange program we've got going on. Kento and Leonard Nimoy have become fast friends since they met at the Comic-Con convention in July, even dining at Nimoy's home. You know, I feel like knowing him as a man and knowing the impact that this experience had on his life and, uh, and his journey as an artist, and, and I truly consider him a, um, just a, a really formidable artist. You know, he's really redefined himself and found uh, other outlets for his creativity over the years, and that's really inspiring to me. So just just sort of exposing myself to that and really getting to know him and, uh, and, and learning where he came from with his character is probably going to be more invaluable than anything else. Fascinating. So can we expect an appearance by the original Spock on Heroes? <laughs> I think Leonard's dance, dance card is pretty full these days, but, uh, but we'll see if we can coax him. Hi, Andy. Uh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. also coy when it comes to spilling spoilers about his Siler character. Hero says Siler's evil pales in comparison to a new villain coming to the show. Does that mean Siler's turning good guy? I think you'll definitely see a different side to him. Um, I don't know if it's a good side or not. Um, but, you know, the nature of a show like this is that uh, all the characters have to evolve and all the stories have to evolve. And, uh, and to ever expect that I would be the only force of evil in, in this epic world is kind of naive and... Uh, and short-sighted you know I think that uh, I think that my character is definitely struggling with a whole host of obstacles and uh, and problems that he never would have imagined and that uh, and that you know he has to really really deal with before he can sort of get back on track to pursuing all of his uh, power hungry murderous rampage hero hunting. And Zach, I'm going to give you a later cue for that. Heroes returns to NBC with new episodes September 24th.